Hi everyone. Just wanted to share today a traveller's notebook, notebook, notebook that I've made. I've been wanting to do um, some of these for a while and the other day I just decided I'd have a bit of a play and this is what I came up with. A um, little bit different to what I normally do. I normally like the vintage um, style and everything inked. Um, so this is really pretty and fresh, nice pastel colours, so which I love as well. But um, I must admit I struggled doing it a little bit. I just kept wanting to pick up ink and ink everything. So I hope you like what you see. I'll just run through it with you. Um, so on the front I've just done a um, fabric ribbon that I've sewn on all edges so that it frays just to the sewing. And I've just wrapped that around. It's a 100% um, cotton homespun, very good quality. I use that in my quilting as well. So the cover I've just made um, using a Tilda design cardstock. It's really good, thick quality. I've stitched the signature in and I've just laid a couple of labels on here and some beautiful white cheesecloth underneath. Um, so on here you can put the date or the volume number, the date you started, the date you finished, whatever you like. Um, okay, so it's a standard size as well, I'm not sure whether I said that. So on the inside I've just used the top part of the 12 by 12 inch sheet that was left over and I've just made a pocket and included a double tag in there. On this side I've just done one of those um, beautiful Tim Holtz um, doily tucks that I do and I've just included a journaling card. Some beautiful um, old music sheet paper. I've sewn some gorgeous crisp white Gupua lace to the top. I don't know whether that's how you say it properly. Sorry. And then I've just included a bit of scrap paper um, to cover the stitching. So I have left threads. They can be cut if you like. Um, on this one I've just added a journaling spot with a paper clip and some beautiful seam binding. This is a little bit more of the, the cover that I've just put in there, made a little pocket and then I've just fussy cut this camera, popped that in there. Just done a side pocket and included a journaling card. This is out of an old gardening book that I found at one of our op shops here in Australia. Um, some beautiful images in it and just another paper clip with another journaling tag so there's lots of space to journal or add your collages do whatever you want to do in these on this one I've just done a corner pocket with a bit more of, a, of that scrap and this is some acetate I found in my scrap box that I don't even remember getting I think it may even be a Cayenne company one from many many years ago and I've just made a little um, booklet for extra journaling. Here's another pocket that I've made and I've just included a piece of folded paper. Um, when I saw that I thought of those film strips. It'd be nice to get some photos cut to the size of those little film strip photos and put them on there. This is just a fold out that I've put on there, sewn some seam binding, there's a larger pocket and just a journaling card that I've popped in there as well. I apologise if you can hear a humming noise in the background, it's stinking hot here in Australia and um, I've got the, the big fan going to try and cool things down a bit. So there's a little bit more of that Gilhua lace. That I've sewn on there and I've just made a little pocket here scalloped some cardstock and added some washi tape and just added a journaling card there's some more of that acetate and I've just sewn some seam binding in the middle of the signature I've just added this fold out of lined paper just add lots of journaling in there it's a little wish ticket clipped on there with a paper clip. Just another pocket with a new tag. I struggle with the tags as well because I always like to decorate them but I'll leave that up to you. Some more seam binding and I've just covered the stitching with washi tape. 
it's a large pocket and I've just tipped a um, tag in there it's the other side of that botanical page here I've just done a um, page band and a journaling card and there's plenty of room in there to add more bits and pieces and I've stitched some more um, Kapu lace down the side there and covered it with a strip of cardstock. More of that music paper. And on the back page, I've just added another journaling spot. So that's it guys, pretty cute. Um, hope you like what you see. Also, I just wanted to share, I'm thinking of doing a few tutorials. If you're interested, let me know if you'd like to see how I put these together, these fabric fabric tags. Um, these are just a few that I've done. Um, so, as I said, just comment below, let me know, and I will work on getting them done. So, hope you enjoyed it guys, and see you next time. Bye bye.